have been able to develop a technology in-house that will allow us to produce the water without the need for electricity and we don't produce any CO2 during the production of water and obviously we don't require uh, or we don't produce any byproduct like for example brine. If you look at the natural water cycle, water always evaporates from open water surfaces because of the solar radiation, the temperature is high and then the water will evaporate. So this water will go to form the clouds and then come back to Earth in the form of rain and precipitation. We decided to develop these devices so we can trap that vapor on the open water surface. We allow this device to basically capture the vapor and then the vapor will be condensed uh, when the temperature goes down uh, during the night mainly. And we collect that liquid water and we basically use it for different purposes. One of the main purposes is to actually use it for coastal irrigation. It's in the area around us, there are a lot of trees next to the sea, but these uh, trees are actually irrigated by water being produced 100 kilometers away. With this uh, fresh water, uh, our uh, uh, idea is to develop it further so we can produce more water per square meter of area and we use it for the concept of floating farms where instead of pulling the water to the land you might as well use this water immediately on the surface to grow some crops of uh, significant interest. We are in the process of trying to launch a pilot for this uh, device on a larger scale compared to the scale that we are using right now and with this pilot it will allow us to uh, test many different elements to enhance the technology so we can produce more water uh, without compromising our philosophy and at the same time we can showcase how we can grow some crops uh, on a floating farm concept. The target is to reach 5 liter per square meter per day. So if I cover an area of 1 square meter I should produce 5 liter per day. So right now we are trying to hit the 5 liter uh, milestone uh, the devices that we have here, we are still not there. We are about 0.5 to 1 liter per square meter per day. We want to get to 5 liter, and then we will do our best to get to the theoretical limits, which is the 160.